In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the electricals and the kitchen on the Jackson Forward Fold. We'll start with the kitchen. First of all, you'll need to locate this, the support leg for the front of the kitchen. It'll be stored in the front box somewhere, probably up in the pole caddy. So I'll put that down out of the way. Now to open the kitchen, you've got a pad bolt here on the left. To unlock that, lift it, turn it 90 degrees, lift again and turn it back and it'll sit up on top of these two locating dowels and stay up out of the way. On the right hand side, we have a lockable slide with a blue tab on the end of it. So we push the tab down, grab the main handle in the middle of the body and slide the kitchen out. Bring it out to full extension, grab the kitchen leg, run your hand underneath and you'll find a receiver hole here in the back corner. Pop the leg of the kitchen into that. Undo the knob there, lift the kitchen slightly and lock it back in. Now that's supported. To finish setting up the kitchen correctly, there's four items you need to bring out through the relief hole in the bottom of the kitchen. One is the power supply to the ignition on the stove. That simply pops in here into the 12 volt socket that's ready to go. The other thing is the sink drain hose. So run that out and place it into a bucket or a longer hose to run it away from the camper, depending on where you're camping. The other thing is the gas bayonet and the water fitting. The easy way to do this is connect the gas bayonet first. Now the water and gas bayonet fittings are at 90 degrees here, just at the back above the stabiliser leg. So we can pop the bayonet fitting into there, lock it in, turn it to the right, that's now connected, and just pop the hose into the half inch snap fitting there for the water. Turn on your water pump at the switch, turn on your gas bottle, and it's all done. On the opposite side of the camper, we've got the electrical control panel. The main items here are your main switch here. That controls the main power in terms of 12 volt. You've got a voltmeter, amp meter, and a resettable breaker here. All the switches for the various circuits through the camper and your water level gauge. To run your power, turn it to the right, power's on. Now you now have power to all the various circuits inside and out, but they are still controlled by these switches. So depending on what you want running, simply switch on power to that circuit. You'll hear the water pump has just kicked into life. There's a refrigerator switch. Now remember, if you're towing and you've got a fridge in the front box and you want to keep that running while you're traveling, you need to have that switched on and also the main power switched on, otherwise your fridge won't work. Plus you've got DC outlets, the lights, and a spare one if you want to run other accessories, a diesel heater or something like that. When you're ready to travel, remember, leave the main switch and the fridge switch on if you're running a fridge. If not, simply turn everything off bang and you're away you can go. It'll still charge through the Anderson plug while you're driving because that runs direct to the batteries via a breaker.